Atlantis awaits. No! Whether you know them as the first civilization, the precursors, or those who came before, the Isu and their reality warping technologies are Assassin's Creed's most enduring mystery. In Judgment of Atlantis, the third episode of the Fate of Atlantis story arc for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll walk among the Isu in the gleaming high-tech city of Atlantis. You have two major goals during your stay in Atlantis. First, as Dicastes, you've been charged by Poseidon to judge the city and its inhabitants. Be my hand in laying and enforcing judgment in Atlantis. Atlantis's shining exterior hides a cesspool of greed and incompetent leaders who'll do just about anything to keep the restless humans under control, from crushing rebellions and staging bloody arena fights to setting at least one werewolf loose in the streets. This is no ordinary wolf. Second, you'll finally unlock the full potential of Alexios or Cassandra's Isu DNA, which you can do by scanning data caches, message tablets, and other artifacts. As you pursue both of these goals, you'll have to contend with Isu soldiers who guard the fortresses and archives you'll need to raid in your quest for Isu enlightenment. In addition to the superpowered regular troops and bronze colossi from previous episodes, you'll also face powerful commanders wearing masks who can absorb tons of damage, teleport and fire beams like the colossi do, and generally mess you up in a hurry. New abilities will help you make short work of these threats. By finding Keeper's Insight tablets, you can enhance three of your existing skills to become far more powerful. Kronos' punishment creates a clone to stealth attack your enemies. Wrath of Ares lets you smash your spear into the ground to create a field that slows enemies and explodes after 14 seconds. And Blessing of Kronos earns you adrenaline faster while also making you immune to any pesky adrenaline draining or freezing effects. You'll also be able to forge three powerful new Isu weapons, a mace, a spear, and a dagger, and infuse them with unique assassin, hunter, or warrior enhancements. Create an assassin mace, for example, and you'll be able to spread the damage from your stealth attacks to any nearby enemies, which makes rush assassinations incredibly deadly against close-knit groups. Each of these weapons can only be forged once, however, and making even one means you'll first need to hunt down three of the nine adamant ingots scattered across Atlantis. So choose carefully. Modification approved. To become truly unstoppable on the battlefield, you'll want to hunt down all five pieces of the Dicastes armor set. Each piece of it comes with a powerful buff, and wearing all five at once triggers an Isu enhanced state if you get hit. This makes you invulnerable for 15 seconds, and takes just 60 seconds to recharge. The catch is that getting the full set means tracking down five of Atlantis's mightiest warriors, the Polomarchs, and fighting them along with any nearby guards for their stolen pieces. You'll need every advantage you can get to survive the challenges Atlantis will throw at you. Being Dicastis isn't all doing favors for the city's inhabitants, helping them with their ethical quandaries, and discovering new insights into the hidden lore behind the Assassin's Creed series. Sometimes you'll need to delve into the darker recesses of the city, and that means facing horrors far beyond any Isu guards or moving statues. You can start uncovering Atlantis' mysteries yourself on July 16th, when Judgment of Atlantis arrives for Assassin's Creed Odyssey Season Pass owners and for those who've purchased the Fate of Atlantis story arc. To start it, you'll need to be at least level 28 and have finished the first two episodes, Fields of Elysium and Torment of Hades. You can also jump straight into the Fate of Atlantis story arc with a special shortcut option, which starts you at level 52, although you won't be able to carry that over to your main game save or earn achievements. You know where to find the Dicastis when you need him. For more on all things Assassin's Creed, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Ah! Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Available now.